welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm Chuck Alicious, Chuck Williams. And joining us this morning from Amarillo's College, Miss Sadie Newsom, someone I know well and uh, respect and uh, uh, just really proud of the work they do at Emerald College. And uh, uh, Sadie, good to see you. I hadn't seen you in a minute. I know. Great to see you guys, too. Yeah. Always so glad to be here. I know. It. Well, it, it, it's that time of the year. Everything's going on and buzzing. I didn't realize it was this close. Commencement next Friday. Yes. Yeah, it is wow. just it has just come fast this year, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just like I said, it was just Christmas break. <laughs> the other day. Yeah. Two, yeah. How many graduates do you think you got walking this year? We've got, uh, I wrote this down, we've got 1,172 grads with 1,285 degrees and certificates. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Um, um, the, I mean, our faculty just puts in such excellent work in getting these graduates prepared to go out into the workforce or uh, to transfer to another uh, college or university. And uh, we've got some good numbers. And that's the thing in, in having a discussion some, with someone about uh, the difference. They said, what's the biggest difference between AC and other educational institutions? Uh, it, it is a, a, a more interactive hands-on. Uh, and especially whether if you're looking for a new career or you're just starting your educational journey, your kid just right out of high school, uh, the intimacy of this campus and the classes, uh, you, you don't have to go into an amphitheater with 200 plus people. Uh, and, and, and just how quickly you're doing whatever goal you're pursuing, you're hands on, you're doing, you're actually doing it very quickly. Yeah. Is that That's a huh. part of what you guys do? Absolutely. I think one of the coolest things about about Emerald College is, you know, we offer some really, um, you know, exciting and interesting um, educational options like our eight week classes where you can get through things quickly. And especially somebody who's going in for a, a second career or they have a family and a full time job. You know, you don't want to wait around and, and spend 16 weeks on every class um, and some some um, 16 week options absolutely still exist and some people love that, but there's just options, but none of that um, is uh, that, that that doesn't change the um, hands on nature and the uh, the real uh, one to one element mm -hmm. of uh, the college experience at Emerald College. I really appreciate that. That was one of the things that I enjoyed about Emerald College. For one thing, I, I wasn't looking forward to just going to college and just being, you know. Full time. Well, and, and not only that, but alone. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. It, and it wasn't that way at all. For one thing, I immediately found people that I knew. And I always felt that I could always go to the instructors and talk, you know, and ask questions. And, you know, and it, it was really such a... Uh, not really. I, I'm trying to think of the word I want here, but it was a very almost cozy experience uh, for me. Yeah. Well, I started to say yeah. that, yeah. and I was like, it's well, just is weird that the to say it, but I yeah. almost said it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I did think of that first, and but it was it was just something that I thoroughly enjoyed that college, and you know, professors would come to me and say, "Hey, you might want to think about applying for this scholarship. You'd be you'd be the great candidate for it." And I just appreciated the help, and just that you could tell they cared. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I can feel that um, over even in, in in my wing of of the college, over in uh, you know our communications marketing department. I I don't. Uh, I think in a lot of universities or colleges, I I wouldn't hardly ever see students. I I get to interact with students all the time, um, and I, I just I think that it's a cultural thing at Emerald College, you know, and uh, there's just so much community building. Uh, even within student groups and organizations as well, tons of that. I um, mean, it's not, it's, th there's, there's a lot of opportunities um, to get involved that are great for students who are just leaving high school and, you know, want to kind of have that, that college experience and more of like what people would consider a traditional um, sense. But then there's other um, options for uh, adults and people, children, and uh, it, it's just a, a lot of flexibility and a lot of, uh, options do you really do uh, do you think that that coziness as you guys have been calling it do you think that coziness really sets 
the college apart from others and how can you sell that to a student who's coming in you know looking for the higher education deal well i mean i think that one of the good things about it is that you don't have to work too hard to sell that okay <laughs> i think uh, you know it's it's something that um you know Emerald college is affordable it's flexible it's high quality education uh, great resources um, and then whenever you experience yourself on campus, people feel at home. Mm -hmm. So I, I really, I, I, I've got, I've got one of the, one of the best jobs in the world because uh, <laughs> we've got a, a great product, if you will. Um, okay. I, that's, that's how I see it. I feel like most people who've spent time on campus um, pick that up pretty quickly. And it kind of goes back to that, well, y'all probably heard us talk about the, the culture of caring, as, uh, as we call it um, at the college, that it's just uh, ingrained um, in, in something that, you know, it's, it's, it's the little things that, um, you know, we do, we do a thing as, a, as employees of the college, where if somebody asks you for directions, you don't just point um, at the nearest like wayfinding sign or whatever, you just walk them across campus. And it's, small it's no big deal you know i can walk in late to a meeting and say oh i was walking a, a student across campus and it's just you know uh part not only accepted and understood but appreciated part of it yeah and, and, and i think during my my time at hc recently in, in the last decade uh under two leaders under uh dr paul madney and then to, under dr russell lowry hart that's where that culture was incubated and grown